Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. After five months I am finally ready to get back in the video game and make some uh, hopefully great videos for you. Welcome to all new subscribers. I am Philip and uh, uh, hopefully you have been watching some of my videos and hopefully you have enjoyed uh, some of my music. Some of you have also um, ask me some questions and I thought this would be a, a great way to get in touch uh, with you and um, I have picked um, 12 questions or 12 comments that I would like to, um, to answer so uh, here goes. All right the first question is from Pipe Organ. What brand keyboards are they? Real organ or electronic keyboards? Excellent performance. So the keys on the on the organ on the organ uh, are some um, uh, are from Fata, which is an Italian company. Uh, it is the TP sixty five W, I believe, um, which are keys that have a wooden core and a wooden surface. So uh, they simulate a real organ uh, and its keys um, pretty pretty okay but 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 you can't uh, you can't beat the real thing so this second question is from Mansa Nock fantastic playing sure this is the paid version of a Norbrook sample I will try the free version may be not getting this fantastic reverb so uh, as regular viewers you might uh, already know this but I have a great affinity for for the Norbrook sample uh, set from Sono Paradisi. This is a, a sample set that I have bought and I can fully recommend it. Uh, it is my go-to sample set if I want to play some uh, baroque music or maybe some Buxtehude. Uh, it has um, a marvelous sound and I really enjoy being immersed with it. So I can fully uh, recommend that sample set if, uh, if you are in the market for it. All right. So David is um, asking, really love your playing, thank you. I think at least this week, this is my favorite large back work. What edition is this and the last bar different uh, than I have ever heard? Did you purchase your Hauptwerk? Many thanks and bravo. So David, David is talking about uh, my uh, edition or my rendition of um, the Pasakalia by Bach. Uh, I normally play after the edition Peters um, uh, edition and um, so that is that is why uh, the ending sounds like that. Um, yeah, I have purchased my Hauptwerk organ. Uh, I have made a, a video on it, uh, which you can find in the description below. But it is a I, I don't uh, don't look back. I, it is a fantastic uh, purchase uh, that I that I haven't regret uh, at all. Next question, lovely. But do you like wearing headphones? Well, I would say I don't uh, particularly love playing with headphones, but uh, as I uh, live in an apartment, I don't have a choice. I, I have to um, have the headphones on or, uh, or then I, I will be getting some angry messages from my, uh, my neighbors. So I have to play with, uh, with headphones. When I play loud music, I tend to uh, lower the volume uh, so uh, I, I don't get uh, any damages on my ear. Organ Boy um, writes, no shoes, I never understand it, using muscles that are never needed with shoes. So uh, I don't play with organ shoes actually. I started, uh, when I started playing organ, I, I played with organ shoes and I would say um, for the difficult pieces I would say organ shoes are, are, are needed, but for everyday um, lesser intense uh, works, I find it very natural just to play uh, with my socks. Then Nils Ole uh, writes, and I can recommend his channel as well. He writes, a truly great recording, probably one of the best on YouTube, thank you, and a worthy uh, temporary farewell. All the best for your next month, and I'm very much looking forward to the fugue in the summer. That would be the Durofli fugue uh, and it will uh, show up eventually. 
Uh, and please forgive me for mentioning it, but the hole in the right sock is a really nice and true to life detail that expresses life with the baby very nicely. And I would say that is completely correct. Now, I won't say which video he uh, comments on, but uh, you can watch all my videos and perhaps you will find a, a, a hole in one of my socks. <laughs> Mr. Classic Freund writes, uh, I'm not that good at, at German, but, but basically he, he asked for a registration. And, and I think um, I, would, I would try uh, going forward to, to um, write uh, if there is a, a registration that, um, that I have used. Um, but, but if it's a, a large work, I, I, can't, I can't do it. Steve writes, excellent performance on this beautiful piece, bravo, thank you. What hardware software do you use for music score? I use my iPad with uh, an app called uh, Fourscore and I can really recommend it. Uh, Richard McVeigh has uh, made a video on that program and I know uh, the channel Pep Organ as well has a, uh, has a, a video on, on that specific uh, software. So I would urge you to go and watch those videos. Maggie writes, what type of organ is this? I'd love one of these in my home for practice. The sound is so beautiful. Thank you very much, uh, Maggie. This is a Hauptwerk organ. This particular model is called Avanti and uh, is made by a Dutch company called Nordlander. Then Damien writes, organ sounds amazing, air in F sharp. And he's uh, referring to my version of, uh, of the air uh, by Hintel. Uh, and it's played on the Norbrock sample. And the Norbrock sample is raised half a tone higher. So if I'm playing a piece written in F, it will sound uh, as if I was playing it in F sharp. So that's, that's why. That was some of the questions that you had. Uh, and thank you once again very much. Uh, the next video will be coming up shortly. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.